everybody, Billy from Mutation Creation. Today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around, and if you see, I've paired many, many animals. So anything that's up and down like this, that is paired animals. We're gonna go through them and see if we have any locks. So I think I'm pairing, I don't know, 60 or 70. 60 or 70 females. So we're gonna go through that and uh, hopefully we get lots of locks. Uh, first, I wanna give a huge shout out to Darren and Eric, Neighbors Constrictors. Not slacking at all. Not only they're not slacking, they've got like, you know, the house number is even on the sleeves. Like, come on, man. So I hope everybody's doing well over in the UK. Uh, thanks again, I'm gonna give a shout out for that, that little bit that you guys did for my uh, birthday surprise video. Awesome guys. And uh, I'll stop talking because Austin's got something to say right now. So for this week's YouTube shout out, we have Granddaddy Herbs. He does a lot of YouTube videos, almost two a week. He does a lot of clutch cuttings, snake unboxings, teaching you how to feed. Really good info with this guy. Check him out on Instagram and YouTube. Awesome, there we go. So if you want to start, I guess we'll start over here. Uh, let's see. So we pre-went through them, so we're not gonna go through every single drawer, uh, but we did go through already and take a peek. So this one here, this is a freeway 50% heck clown, and I'm trying to prove him out, and this is a queen bee clown female. So, lesser spider clown, to a freeway clown. So if he is clown, then I should hit some visual clown combos. If he isn't, then everything in that clutch will be 100% het for clown. Uh, here's another one here. I'll pull it down. This here is a big, big pastel ivory female. And she was bred to an Orange Dream Super Enchi Asphalt slash yellow belly. So I'm definitely gonna prove this out, this male. If I get a bunch of ivories, then he's gonna be a yellow belly. And if I get freeways, which I'm hoping, that means he's an asphalt. That's, that's the pairing I'm actually really hoping for. Uh, here, this is a really good one too. This is a VPI Exanthic female. And she's being bred right now to a Firefly Confusion male. So make a bunch of confusion, combo, het VPI exantics, just stuff for a project for use down the road, just making some stuff. Uh, next, I don't wanna show that one off. Can't show that one, that's, that's, this is one of my genes that I'm working on um, that hopefully, I, I've seen something throughout uh, with the babies and now I'm actually breeding it back together. So fingers crossed. I can't give everything away. At least tell them what it's called. Nope, that's not called. I just, I just have it labeled that, but I don't have it even named. So we went through this rack, nothing here. This one here. This is a super special male. 50% het monsoon to a super, sorry, a special pastel spider past. past did I say pastel again? A special spinner blast. There we go. Why don't I just read the label? Special pastel pinstripe spider. 50% het monsoon to the super special 50% het monsoon. So that'd be really cool. And then here we have scaleless head, het for banded. To a pastel Past lesser scaleless head, het for banded. Perfect. So get some of those visual scaleless animals. Uh, this rack here we checked, just the one. This is one of my big, big, big het pides. And that's to a super banana pied. Oh, this one here. Ghost pied to a spider double het ghost pied female. Uh, 
uh, we'll do this one here. So we've got a, le a leopard, double head, VPI exanthic clown, to a triple head, albino clown VPI exanthic. So shooting for leopard exanthic clowns, which will be awesome. This is the last pairing with this clutch. That's a, a pastel leopard clown female. And she's being bred right now to a cinnamon fire Mojave red stripe male. So making some real, you know, two, three, four gene, 100% het clowns. Uh, no, 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 no here. Oops. <laughs> I can't always be perfect, man. This is a killer pied het clown. So super pastel. High bulb, 100% heck clown. And this here is bred to a pastel super orange dream clown. Probable 100% het for pied. Uh, last year, we did a clutch from that clown female to a combo pied. I got a pied in the clutch. I don't remember pairing it to another male. An orange dream pied. Orange dream yellow belly pied. And that's a super orange dream pied, which makes sense. But then I would have also put another, I could have put a few things. Mm -hmm. So could have been a split it, it could have been a split clutch, but if that turns out to be a pas pastel super orange dream clown head pied, I'm going to be happy. Regardless, this clutch here is going to be awesome. If it doesn't prove out to be pied, then I'm going to get a whole bunch of killer, um, you know, pastel orange dream, like really cool looking clowns, 100% head pieds. But if I do prove it out, I'm gonna actually hit clown pied orange dream pastels, like crazy stuff. So I'm happy there. Uh, this one here, this lock here, this is a black pastel pinstripe lavender, 50% head pied to a pastel special 50% head lavender. So I'm not really going to be proving out the, the, the pied in this clutch, but I have him proving out to a visual pied in another clutch. So I'm just trying to go for those really cool, amazing looking lavenders and having special into my lavender stuff. So that's that clutch down here. Nope. Yeah, no. Nothing there. That is... An albino, sorry, an uh, asphalt head albino female bred to my albino asphalt male, which is also probable het pied. I'm going to be proving that out this year also. That'd be great if, if it is. There's a scaleless, scaleless head. Het pied possible head albino male, and he's breeding right now a pastel scaleless head het pied possible head albino. If the albino comes out, fantastic. I already have a female that is a, a scaleless head double het. She's being paired to the same animal, but uh, I definitely really want to hit some pied scaleless heads and sorry, scaleless and pastel pied scaleless. Uh, Mac Quinn. He did one, uh, was it la last year or the year before? Last year. Last year? <laughs> Nuts. Nuts. So, shout out to Matt Quinn. Bam! Liberty Trust. Yeah, there you go. Hey, look at you, man. Big shout outs. I got to get better with that, with the names. I know the, you know, I either know the company name and I don't know the person's name. Or I know the person's name and I don't know the company name. But that's why I have Austin here to back me up. But yeah, man, it, it's just sick looking. You got to check it out. It's awesome. This one here. This is a cool clutch. This is a pastel hidden gene Woma freeway. And she's bringing bre bread right now to a butter leopard harlequin. Look at the pattern. So crazy. Butter leopard harlequin. So going to start getting him and, and, and breeding and see what, it, what starts coming out of, you know, clutches like that, holding stuff back and, you know, save that stuff for a future project. 
Um, here we go. Pastel enhancer, male. And he's being bred to a yellow belly het enhancer female. So pastel yellow belly enhancers. Need that stuff to go into my freeway projects down the road. Uh, that's not really locked. I'll show it anyways. Black pastel lavender to a blackhead lavender female. Sorry. Jeez. Blackhead lavender male. Yeah. And it looks like we got one more in this rack. Yes. So there is a lesser Het Enhancer. Nice and bright, even as an adult. Oh, I'm going to move them. That's a Cinnamon Leopard Het Enhancer male. What's that? Something else with it, too. Oh, probable Het Pied, which will prove out, too. When you do this... I'm so just trying yeah, to but I, you got my attention, but... I, Definitely got my attention. I don't really talk. Jeez, I, we got to get this a lion. Yep. There he is. Why have we not got the Austin cam yet? You know what we got to do? Well, you're sitting there doing nothing. Looking good over there. Just chilling out. You know, scoping the uh, internet. We should have you. He, he pulled another Austin stunt with his hands. Like, you know, distracting me and all. I got, I got to make it so that people don't think I'm actually crazy. You know, you got to see what Austin's doing. But then when you start filming him, he's going to be perfect. And people are going to go, Billy, man, like, what the hell are you talking about with Austin? He's perfectly fine. Yeah, now, because he's on camera. <laughs> got my attention. It's also hep pied. You could have said that. You know, don't make me look, you know, I'm, I'm over 50 now. So now, sin you know, being senile. Four, could, could... four or five days over 50. Yeah, man, it, it could actually be a thing, you know. <laughs> So when I do screw up, it probably is because I'm 50, over 50. You never know. That's why I need your help more than ever to hook me up and help me out. This is the yellow belly genetic stripe to a freeway genetic stripe. So I want to make some more freeway G stripes, ivory G stripes. So visual recessive to visual recessive everything will be genetic stripe so it'll be great i'm actually either, either going to get genetic stripe ivory g stripes or freeway g stripes so really good there this one here no lo unlocked but that one here that's my freeway 66 percent heck clown and that's being bred to the pastel leopard ivory heck clown uh, this is a really good one here. Are you still locked? Yep. So this one's really awesome. This here is a black pastel GHI yellow belly female. And she's bringing bread to an asphalt Enchi special 50% het monsoon. So some really cool freeways. GHI, Black Pastel, Special Freeways. Really cool stuff coming out of that one. Uh, what's this one here? Uh, nope. Not locked anymore. I think we got a few more. Uh, here's one here. Uh, cording, very close. This is a Mojave Lavender. Het Pied, bred to an Enchi Het Lavender. So I'm trying to go after some Enchi Mojave Lavs. 50% Het Pieds. Uh, this one here. There's a great lock. That's an Asphalt Het Pied. Male. Bred to a Pastel Yellow Belly Pied. So more Freeway Pieds. And looks like there's one more lock. One more lock. Yeah. 
This little guy here is a yellow belly pied het lav. Bread to a pastel lavender het pied. So pastel yellow belly dreamsicles, pastel yellow belly pied het lavs, pastel yellow belly lav het pieds, etc. etc. Um, and a bunch of other combos. Everything will be uh, double het because they're both visuals. Um, so yeah, that's it. So out of all those, I don't know, was that 20 or 30? And that was just one day. We put them in uh, late last night before we left. So that's what we visually seen. Some of these could have locked up, you know, over the 12 hours or 16 hours since we paired them that we, we haven't seen. Um, I leave them in for another two days. So some of them will unlock and then lock back up again. If not, they'll court. Some males, if um, it's sort of like the last you know, lock that we need, we may take him out and put him in another female with another female for the next two days. Um, but that's what we do here. Two, three days, you know, four days in, two, three days out while we feed. Um, and don't really be discouraged if you put them in and all of a sudden for the first day you don't see a lock because we could put them away in two days, you know, the day before we feed and we actually go to take him out to put him back and he's actually locked finally. So sometimes uh, you may not witness the lock and sometimes they don't lock right away. Sometimes they could lock, unlock and then relock. Sometimes they lock and you don't see. And then other times they lock, you know, after the second or third day. So don't get discouraged when you do put your animals together um, that they don't. I even know that most of the animals that I'm putting together are actually building and they're at that stage because I have the ultrasound. So I'm not even discouraged if they don't lock. Uh, right away or even in that week because you put them in a week or two later they, they actually will lock or um, sometimes animals no matter what you do you put a male in to that one female and he won't lock with her at all but you put him into any other tub and he's a superstar breeder so it, it's it's something where I don't even know the answer to just maybe doesn't like her maybe it's not her type you know not his type I don't know but it does happen so don't be discouraged uh, hope this video helped uh, yeah, well, I'll have another video coming out soon. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, keep the comments coming in. Once again, we'll check out Granddaddy Herps on YouTube. And of course, you know, these guys, Darren and Eric, Neighbors Constrictors. I don't know if they have a YouTube yet, but you can check them out on, uh, on Instagram. Maybe Facebook, probably Facebook, but Instagram for sure. I'm, all, I'm, I'm, a face, I'm an Instagram guy, so I'm always on Instagram and, you know. So thanks for watching, see you next video.